Yes, 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 it's a pair. Ja Rule is back. Ja Rule has come back onto the scene. Fresh out of prison, has done an interview with Hot 97, Angie Martinez. Angie Martinez is a host at Hot 97. And Ja Rule and Irv Gotti did an interview with them. And that was basically their first interview since Ja Rule has come out of prison. And it was a lot of things to take away from the interview. But I'm going to take, I'm going to give you guys the quick summary of what basically was said. The, the interview could be found on LateNightCreep.com. But if you didn't watch it, this will basically went down. Ja Rule, finally, after which it, it seems ridiculous to me, but after 10 years, he finally admitted to taking an L to Curtis 50 Cent Jackson in that whole little beef they had going on. He admitted that when he went up against 50 Cent, he caught the L, which is, uh, I think at this point, is very mature of him. He realizes no point in denying it. His time has come and gone, or at least that error of his time has come and gone. Um, he also admitted a couple other things, which um, Irv Gotti he was, he was definitely boasting a lot, saying that at one point they, they're in the Guinness Book of World Records. They were the top uh, for 42 weeks out of like 52 weeks, or 40 weeks out of 52 weeks. They, were, they had a song that was like number like in the top five billboard songs um, on the charts. Which is a pretty impressive feat. So apparently he was the producer of a top five Billboard song for 40 weeks out of 52 weeks, which is in a year. So I got to salute him for that. But um, I think the most uh, the most apparent thing that I took from this whole interview that I saw with Angie Martinez with Ja Rule and Irv Gotti is that basically it's a whole bunch of nostalgia. Everybody's rem uh, reminiscing on 10 years ago. Not realizing what climate the music game is in now. The music game is in a, a climate right now that's not welcome into Ja Rule. He also dropped a track. It's called Fresh Out the Pen. Before you go looking for it. It's on LateNightCreep.com as well. But before you go looking for this nonsense. It's completely garbage. If it was 10 years ago. Actually 15 years ago. This would have probably been popping. But musicians got to understand where their time has come and gone. Ja Rule time has come and passed and it'll never come back. He and Irv Gotti was on the radio with Angie Martinez and basically saying that they got that they think they're gonna take over 2014. That's the that's the vibe I was getting. Um, if you guys watch you get a different vibe. Let me know if I'm just talking that bullshit. But that's the vibe I was getting. It's clearly they're still a little bit delusional, but at least they've come to accept the reality of what was going on. Also, they gave us a little behind the scenes, which I love behind the scenes talks with celebrities or rappers or musicians or whatever artists you like and um, they said that basically 10 years ago when they were going through the whole thing with 50 Cent they were also going through all type of indictments and federal indictments and it basically went from them being at the top to just <laughs> all the way to the bottom they said that a lot of things just wasn't going their way the feds is knocking on their doors People hollering at them saying um, they would try to go award shows, BT, MTV would be like, uh, listen, hey, 50 Cent is hot right now, but we don't want you guys to be at the award show because they're going to be performing. If you guys come, they won't perform. So just stay home. And honestly, I want, you, I want to see what you guys think about this because I actually do believe this part of it. And he said a very interesting quote or a very interesting thing. Which I completely agree with. He said if Twitter was around in 2003 and it was that prevalent where um, celebrities could reach out their fans so easily, he doesn't think his career would get quote unquote ja ruled as quickly as it did. And I completely agree. And I'm going to tell you why. And I want, once again, I want you guys to give me some feedback on this. But right now, if you look, all these celebrities are on Twitter. That are popping out here. That got a bunch of stands. I won't even say fans. I'll say stands. Because right now people buy into people more than music. So you're going to have people defending rappers or singers or whoever it is to a fault. It doesn't, ma it doesn't matter outside the music. No matter what retarded things they do. People are going to still defend them. Justin Bieber. His fans are still going to defend him. Even if he's doing some dumb shit. Just because he's Justin Bieber. And just because he, they have that love for Justin Bieber, and also his music, but they'll defend anything else. They, it's not objectivism that's in the game right now that people could be like, listen, yo, that's my dude, 
but that was some bullshit. We even see on social media right now, people are naming their stands. Beyonce names her stands the Beehive. Justin Bieber names her stands the Beliebers. We got Nicki Minaj that names her stands Barb's. In this time and age, there's no way you could Ja Rule someone. And that's the point that Ja Rule was making, and I completely agree with. How could you possibly Ja Rule someone who has an army of fans just dedicated to that person? Not even their music. So, it, to try to take that person's fans or try to sway those persons, I won't even say fans anymore, as I said, stands against them, you have to convince those stands that your lifestyle or your you as a person is more appealing, which you're not going to do. Back in the day, you put out more hot music, people will sway to whatever side you're on. Because they'll be like, okay, I'm hearing his songs all the time in the club, all the time on the radio, I'm seeing them on award shows, seeing them in magazines. I'm going to rock with them as opposed to whoever they're beefing with. Now, you could always remain prevalent within the hip-hop culture with Twitter, Instagram. People could get on YouTube if they want to make their own blogs. So it's really hard to really Ja Rule somebody out in these streets. So I'm going to agree with Ja Rule right there. But all in all, I, I, I feel... I don't say I feel bad for Jairo. I think he made a lot of money in this shit. So, you know what I mean? Everybody has their time. I think 50 Cent also had his time. He had his time. He had his run. And I think he, he got knocked off that pedestal. And he just can't accept being on a lower pedestal. So, I think it's the same thing that 50 Cent's going through. Except, there's not really one person that just went against him that was just so hot that killed his career. I think he kind of did to himself. And also, the fans got tired of him. Also, Lil Wayne did that. People got tired of Lil Wayne. And even though it might not say that because the Carter 4 sold a million copies and the um, I Am Not a Human Being 2 still went gold, but people are tired of him. Like, anytime you hear about his music on social media, people are slandering him. So people aren't feeling him like that. But it obviously seems that these people who have been, they got their time, I feel like Ja Rule right now is finally understanding why his time went. 50 Cent I still think is in denial. Lil Wayne I still think he has a chance because he had such a great run that people still want to give his newest project to run uh, a pass. People still gave dedication a listen even though his last couple of projects has been garbage. But you want to give him a listen because he's provided us with so many good material. So that's what I think about that Ja Rule interview. I think... It's a good moment where you can think back like, yo, that was a good era in hip-hop. That was a good run. But it's nothing else. Ja Rule's time has come and gone. Um, he announced that he's going into movies or he has a movie coming out. And I completely applaud him for that because that's exactly where he should go. Nobody wants to see Ja Rule rapping at this point. You're not going to hear Ja Rule. Listen, I'm a DJ. I'm a club DJ. You'll never hear me drop a non Pre-2005 Ja Rule record in the club. So you're not going to hear me drop one of his new tracks in the club. Ja Rule post-05 is known as done. So that's just what it is. Let me let me know what you guys think about it. If you guys haven't seen it, get on LateNightCreep.com and you could check it out. Once again, as I said, my podcast is coming soon. We're setting up all the logistics, so don't get mad if you guys got to wait a little bit. Um, partnering up with LateNightCreep.com, as you guys know, I'm also involved with that. So, it's going to get popping in a little while, so just be a little patient. We'll be coming out. Make sure you guys comment. I need you guys to keep sharing this. Uh, we're trying to get the views up to definitely make this into a successful podcast. So, keep supporting. It's your boy DJ Academics. I'm out.